Hi everyone, this is JD, your gadget review friend. Pixel 6 just launched last week and it got all the buzz and attention it needed. I'm not in any way downplaying Pixel 6, it's a smart and great phone, but if you cannot afford paying almost a grand for it, maybe look for a great alternative, yeah? You cannot find it on any competitor brands, you will only find it on Pixel lineup themselves, and that's the Pixel 5. This is Pixel 5 after one year. Is this a great alternative? Let's talk about this. Hey, don't forget to subscribe my friend. Let's go! Let's start with the obvious change, the size. Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro are humongous. I mean, if there's a small, medium, and large category, they will probably be in the large phone category. I know a lot of people are still considering small phones. That's why the competitor iPhone 12 and iPhone 13 mini exist. There's a market for it. In fact, some of my recent videos, people are commenting that Pixel 6 are too big for them, and when I ask them, they'll say they're coming from the older Pixel 5. I really miss the size. I also miss the circular edge of Pixel 5. Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro are squared edged. It has nothing to do with functionality, it's just my own preference. I just feel it's more current than a boxy type looking screen, but that's just me. The next great thing about Pixel 5 is the textured back glass. People reacted negatively to this when it was first launched, so I don't know, maybe Google went to a shiny glass back. Going back to my unboxing video of Pixel 6, and I will link that on my description below, you will see that I got fingerprints all over the back on the new Pixel phone just by taking it out of the box. If you have a sweaty hands and you don't normally snap a case on it, this will attract a lot of fingerprints and it will look ugly from the first minute you use it. You might need to clean it once in a while. But not for Pixel 5, it can handle it well. I've also been comparing the features of the new Pixel 6 and the older Pixel 5 and found few differences and once I upgraded to the Android 12 yesterday, I instantly see almost all the features existing on my Pixel 6. The only thing missing on the features I love on Pixel 6 is the speech enhancement and the power button for Google Assistant. So those are the only things, aside from the fact that Pixel 6 is a bigger and better main camera sensor, the perfect placement of the selfie camera in the top middle, and maybe the bigger screen if people love it, Android 12 brings the same experience in Pixel 5. There's not much of a difference and that Android 12 update is a more compelling reason for me to continue using the old phone, but as a tech reviewer, I have to move on and test new stuff for you, but I seriously miss it. Hey, just a side note, if you own Pixel 5 or any phones you see on our channel, we're making more videos of these phones in the future. Please hit the subscribe button to see more videos like this. About the camera, and Pixel phones is all about cameras, I actually compared Pixel 5 and Pixel 6, and if you want to check that, it's under Gadget Revnow's Camera Comparison Playlist. It takes almost the same photos, there are subtle differences, but if you like punchy and sharp photos, Pixel 5 is still a great choice. I've compared it with Samsung S21, OnePlus 9, iPhone 13, and Pixel 6, and it held up pretty well with the comparison videos, even beating some of them. I guess for phone cameras, there are a few major things you need to look for. A good quality night shots, a good quality portrait shots, good video stabilization, and the availability of 4K videos. Pixel 5 has all of them. The rest are just preferences if you want a smoother skin tone, punchy or natural looking photos, and the availability of 24, 60, 120, and 240 FPS on videos. The camera of Pixel 5 is still one of the best and it's a hard sell to say to upgrade to the new phones today because of the newer camera sensors. Performance wise, I know Google took a hit when they opted to go for Snapdragon 765, but I've used it from the first time it was released, and until today, there's no drop on performance. I'd say comparing this with other Chinese brands with great specs, Pixel 5 is one buttery smooth phone, while the Chinese flagship killers are sometimes sluggish, it will hang or close apps once in a while. I don't have that issue on Pixel 5, it's a great experience, the updates are flawless and the phone went from good to great with all the updates I received from the past one year. I should say it's a more polished phone compared to Pixel 6 in terms of camera performance and that's what update gives you. Fixes. I also need to talk about the new fingerprint sensor. The new Pixel 6 is the new in-display fingerprint sensor. Google are kinda lost on space with this. In Pixel 4, they use face recognition, went back to the back fingerprint sensor which is great, 
And now they opted to use the end display, I guess because consumers wanted to. I still feel that the back fingerprint sensor is the best placement of it. Your fingers naturally wraps around the back. And it can also be used to map other functions like per Pixel 5, you can use it for swipe down notification. There are reported cases of screen protectors affecting the accuracy of the new Pixel 6 fingerprint sensor, so that's one good thing of moving it to the back, you don't need to cover it. And our last reason is the price. The new phones will always be more expensive than a year old device. It doesn't mean that the performance will suffer, it just means you got the latest device. If you can get this cheap used or brand new with price cut, go get it. Again, there's so much value now on Pixel 5 than ever before. Google Pixel 5 is a great Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro alternative and I miss it. I'm not ready to let it go yet and I won't be surprised if I go back to it anytime soon. And that's it, that is Pixel 5 after a year. What do you think? Leave your comment below. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.